I'm Sir Tap Tap, and let's play Outpost 13, which is not a fast-paced game. Take a moment to relax before starting. Make sure you're not missing something. This game is a little unusual, which is probably why those that little hint thing was added. Um, nice, we gotta go through this intro here. Um, well, let's start at the beginning. So, a review copy of this game is provided by the developer, by the way. I forgot if I mentioned that. Um, so... This game is heavily inspired by The Thing. It is, in fact, basically The Thing, kind of. Um, so it's a point-and-click horror game, and you are basically the dog from The Thing, and you've just got to kill everybody. So we're on this alien world, and the dog has our The Thing monster. But it's not quite as easy as just, you know, kill everybody with your awesome The Thing powers. You've got to be stealthy and do stuff because, you know, it's a point-and-click horror game. Or, it's a point-and-click well, adventure horror game, I guess. So... Things get a little fiddly. We're having some doggy dreams. That dog's a dream in color. But anyway... We're having some nice doggy dreams. Sorry if I'm going through text a bit fast. Before release, this game was a little rough. I'm hoping it's in a little better shape now. I wanted to have a video out in time for release, but... There are a few things they changed with the time system. So I'm gonna try to click a little more slowly. I read pretty fast. Um, so they had some unusual stuff with the time system. And then there were some glitches, and I just kind of waited for the game to stabilize a bit. This was a Kickstarter project also, by the way. Um, we can be pulled apart by science, or we can leave. Let's be pulled apart by science. <laughs> it was rhetorical. So, ew. There's a storm coming, Fen. And then she was a zombie. We can reactivate that. I didn't notice that before. So yeah. This is a point and click adventure game where you play as the enemy from the thing. That was them or us. See, this is sort of a tutorial. So yeah, you just sort of try to look around for things you can interact with. This game is a little, possibly more than a little slow paced. Oh, choices. Dr. Mianya Jones is a backer exclusive. Oh, well, let's just be fan rare. That screen wasn't launched, but the developer responded pretty quickly and you know, they were getting out patches like almost every day. So um, it does look like things are in a better shape now. So the way this works is we've got this outpost and there's a bunch of different things we can interact with. And things change, like, along with time and also with what we do. So, the first areas we can interact with are down here. Once you're in a populated area, you get the sort of stealth meter thing. I hide. <laughs> you get kicked out. But, uh, so we need to find a way, way to get back there. Um, but we actually need a password to do something back there, and I honestly don't even know what it is or how to find it, so. So here, what have we got here? We got a garage. But there's nothing much else for us to do here. Nothing over there. We can try to lower this thing on the dude. But this jerk ass stops us. So we gotta find some way to deal with him. The walk speed is a little bit annoying. And uh, there's actually nothing out there that I saw. Like I said, the game is very slow paced and um, it, well, I think 
I was pretty frustrated starting it out, but um, I think a big part of that was it turned out to be broken in a few ways, and also the time system. I'll show you how we deal with that. Now, now you can save, and then it advances you to the next time slot. You used to have to wait it out, which was really ill thought out, but I pointed that out, and they made that change pretty quick, so... Um, so here's our first puzzle. Well, one of the first puzzles. Um, we need to distract this lady so we can mix her chemicals and cause an explosion. We don't actually know how to do that yet, though. So we need a hint. This door is just locked. So, we got some sort of weird chemical waste. Um, this is also one... I don't... I've solved this puzzle already, so I'll just spoil it. There's supposed to be coffee for this guy here. We can see the coffee now, but what's kind of annoying, that coffee wasn't there until we get the thing to poison it. So we don't really have any reason to believe that we need to drug his coffee because we don't even see it. But yeah. Now we drug his coffee, now he just walks over, drinks it, and down he goes. So let's just lower this thing on this dude. Sorry, buddy! Nice. So now we've completed the garage. We still have the cafeteria to get to and the two medical bays. I don't actually know how to get to either of those because there's that... The monster tells us to let that guy loose, but we don't seem to have any way to do that quite yet. So, like I said, pretty slow game, so now, best I'm aware, what you kind of just need to do is go ahead and save here and wait for the night shift. Oh wait, this is the sort of between times down time period. I don't think that's implemented yet. The game had an early access phase, I guess, but it seems like it's still not quite 100%. All right, after you've killed somebody, the room's empty. Not sure why this chick's sleeping with a robot. Hmm. Aha. So we want that info. And no, yes. <laughs> She's got a freaking Breaking Bad poster over here. Yes. So I think we want this no. We already killed that guy. I, I guess we killed... Actually, I don't know if we killed that guy. I don't know where that guy is. <laughs> that's that mechanic's office. He's dead. Right, no, that's the mechanic. I don't know who that guy is. Yeah, we killed the mechanics. She believes in aliens. See, that's pretty much all there is to see right now. So I guess we need to go and mix some stuff. Hmm. Come to think of it, we need a hint for the... There's a password we need in the cafeteria and I'm not sure where that is. There's some stuff you need to wait for in real time, like the cafeteria dude. I'm I'm a little iffy on that sort of design, honestly. This game definitely has a slower pace than I was initially expecting. It does some oh no. See now we've now that this guy's back, we gotta wait for him to leave again. And that kind of a mood killer for me. I'm not sure what this creature is that he's tearing apart. I'll drop a little bit of it back here. I'm sneaky. I'm sneaky. I'm a sneaky. You need to be sneaky, Charlie. Sneaky. Sneaky. Alright, come on. There's a great deal of stuff you can't interact with. 
And I think the game must have multiple acts and, like, open up more as you go on. I kind of would prefer a more open approach with, like, more stuff to do from the start. Because, like, it's only, what, four active rooms? Oh, thank goodness. Alright, so now we tamper with that. And we tamper with this. Okay, now... Um, crap. Seam overlay. How do I do that? Oop. Shift tab. Okay. Screenshots. That's... Oh, yes. No, let me view it. I can't read that in this size. Dang it. Ugh. That's not gonna help. No! She did the thing! Okay, hold on. I have to get that freaking image. Okie dokie. So, for no, it says no, no, yes. Yes, yes. No. Oh, son of a... Now we have to wait for this guy again. And, like, if you activate the... If you run out of, like, that meter at the top there, they'll just kill you if you come back in the room. So I'm not really sure what... If that's recoverable, or... I don't know. I really love the idea of this game. It's a little weird to get into, though. Ah, okay, there we go. Now he leaves. And the problem is, I'm not actually sure what the solution here is. I don't know why. Are we... I found that through brute force, the one red, one purple, but it didn't seem to actually do anything, so hopefully it actually does something this time. You're apparently not supposed to figure it out just through brute force, you're supposed to find that hint. It's kind of annoying, honestly. I figured I was, was supposed to do it. Oh! <laughs> oh. Okay. We got a evil Furby. Is that all we got here? I better leave here. I kind of want to see that guy's reaction, but I'm not sure if he comes back and sees it or anything. Can I just use the evil Furby in here? You can't really use items directly. You gotta wait until you find some clickable thing to use it on. So we need to let this guy go, but we don't seem to have any opportunity to do. Sometimes she goes over and does something. Come on. Oh wait, what is that? I saw something clickable. I think maybe she needs to go away. I don't entirely mind needing to like do timing stuff. But it's so long between... Uh, now we swap the meds. What are you doing, Parker? Hold on. What is that? You! What are you doing? What Got into some. Oh no! What happened? We didn't get to see! Did something happen while I was freaking. Well, we won. I can't seem to go back in there. I guess the guy went crazy and killed them. Huh. Parker got into a pipe cleaner and. Ugh. So, um. Do anything in the cafe? That's the only place, occupied place left that I'm aware of. Fortunately, I've already got a ding here. Um, see, I just kind of got to <coughs> wait for this jerk ass to come out. Ah, there we go. Um. 
Ooh, what's in here? No! Son of a butt. Stupid robot. Let's see, we need a code to unlock that. What are we supposed to do with that robot? Yeah, we don't have a code for that. I don't recall seeing a code. Yeah, I don't have a code. Um... I can't just unleash this animal thing on him. Well, let's see if anything happens at night. I guess you kind of get the gist of it in case we don't. Um, there is one other room that I didn't see anything you could do in. Another complaint I have is there's so much space you can walk around in that does not have anything you can do in it, at least not right now. That's kind of annoying because we have this plodding slow pace. Like everything up above here is just dead space. Seems to be nothing we can do. Got a little Terminator poster. Obviously, the big fan of 80s movies here. Yeah. Throat's bugging me. See, I guess let's take a nap. Take a little doggy nap. Not sure if you can actually do anything in that downtime period. You couldn't when I tried before. Come on, doggy. I missed the thing where in Broken Age, you can just sort of instant travel if you just click where you want to go. And lots of old school adventure games had like an option that turns your movement speed in crazy fast. I really wish this game had that too. I've mentioned this before in walking sim videos, like almost no reason to give your character just a plodding, terrible movement speed. It really subtracts a lot while adding nothing. All right, so they're dead. Can I unleash the animal? Guess not. Yeah, you're dead. You're not dead. No, no. Get that little monster away from me. <laughs> Can I just. Oh, I can't seem to use the little monster, though. Where even are you? I haven't seen you around. So she seems to be the target for our little thing. I'm not sure where we use him though, because I haven't seen her around. Whoop. Well, I'll take a quick peek around, and if I can't figure out something immediately, uh, I'll probably call it quits. It's a really interesting concept, it's just... It's like, I don't know, I can't really imagine playing the whole thing without a guide at the current pace. What do we got here? Nothing. I don't like that it, there's all these big empty areas that the game lets you walk into, but there's no reason to do so. Yeah, there's nothing here. Oh well. Let's see what happens when you lose. He came out and just... Wow. Hey, robot. Now we get kicked out all the way back here. Still got computer noises in the background for some reason. If I don't try to enter a door, that's because it's. I played before and there's no way in it. So that. the white skull means they'll basically kill you on sight. Dun dun dun. 
They kill you with flamethrower, just like, just like in the thing. It's game over, man. Game over. But yeah, that's Outpost 13. I think it has potential, but I, I think it really needs some tightening up. Oh, I didn't notice. I'm not sure that was on here before. I guess we've got hints. Let's let's see if we got. Let's see what hints do. The pace here a bit. Do to do. Come on. And it'll quick load if you click certain doors, but not on the up and down ones. Not on the cafe either. I'm not entirely sure when hints activate, honestly. I'm not sure that option was even on there before. Hmm. <laughs> we just got booted out twice. Come on, leave the room. There we go. You can hide in there and watch him use the thing, but he doesn't have to re-enter the password. Not sure when the hints come into play, but they're obviously not super common. Nah. Oh well. Yeah, that is Outpost 13. <laughs>